Hi, I'm Mariana Figuero. I'm a professor and director at the Lighting Research Center at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. In the previous videos, we summarized our current knowledge in lighting health. In this last video, we'll share some thoughts on what the future might hold. We're currently seeing the lighting industry shift from lighting for vision and energy efficiency to an approach that considers the non-visual effects of light and its impact on human health and well-being. This is sometimes called human-centric lighting. The LRC is working to further the science and develop tools that will be used in the future. For example, we developed a decimeter, which measures and records the amount of CS that a person is exposed to throughout the day and when they're active. We're developing computer programs that can take these real-time data and prescribe the best CS levels to maintain entrainment or to shift sleep times for travel. And we're developing desktop luminaires that can provide the right amount of CS at the right time without causing glare. Someday, connected lighting systems may automatically provide the right amount of CS for individual people in any space they happen to occupy. The LRC demonstrated this concept at a home in Sweden. In the future, eyeglasses may control CS exposure automatically. We're just starting our journey into lighting that works in harmony with our circadian rhythms so that we can improve alertness, cognitive performance, sleep, mood, energy, and health. I hope that you'll join us on this journey.